Hi there Leos, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at February 29 through March 6. And it's interesting, but there is a February 29. As you know, most of the time it's February 28 and then we go straight into March. But this year, because it's a leap year, we have February 29. And so some people are actually celebrating their real birthday on February 29. It's kind of strange to think that every four years the 29th rolls around and you get to celebrate. So it's the extra day that's added once every four years to balance out the calendar. The most famous leap year tradition is that on February 29, women were allowed to propose to men, which is back in the day. Although today, this concept seems hopelessly outdated and might even cause, you know, women's rights to shudder. It really had its origins in the idea that giving women the power to choose their mates one day every four years was a way to balance out the energy between the sexes in the same way that adding an extra day every four years balances out the human-made calendar so that it, you know, works with the sun cycle. Because, of course, you know, back in the day, you know, we didn't have a man-made calendar. You know, it went by time was measured by where the sun was and I'm not quite sure what they used, but it definitely wasn't, you know, the, the calendar we have today. So uh, a lot of it's manipulated by what we have wanted for the crops and for all that daylight savings and all that sort of thing. So it is a tradition. So if you are Wanting to propose to your partner, this is the day that you officially can do it and you heard it here. Two planets get new signs on Saturday, March 5. Mercury, the communicator, moves out of Aquarius, your relationship zone, and into Pisces, your eighth house of joint resources and investments, which means it's a really good time for you to sit down and have that talk with whoever it is you need to have the talk with about money, who's making it, where it's going, how it's being saved, spent, budgeted. And if you feel that maybe you're being overly generous or taken advantage of in any way, and if you feel you're paying too much for something and that someone else needs to step it up a little bit, this is definitely the time to have that conversation. Mercury joins the sun in Pisces and next week there is a new moon in that all in the eighth house of joint resources and intimacy. Now intimacy is a an interesting word. A lot of people think straight away that it just means sex. Now it, I don't really think it does. I think intimacy is that place that you and your partner get where you feel comfortable with each other that you know you can sit on the bathtub or the toilet while the, your partner's having a shower and just talk and you're not at all like feeling like oh they're invading my space or you happily hold hands or you'll cuddle he'll put his arm around you in the movie theater or squeeze your leg or give you a little kiss it's not like mad passionate display it's more, it's an intimate thing. It's just a, a, maybe a, a look that he gives you where I'm with you. Do you want to leave? We can leave. Yeah. You know, that sort of thing where he's checking in with you and vice versa. So that's where a lot of the planetary play is headed towards. Plus, for those of you who are single looking to mingle, Mars, the planet of passion, is moving into Sagittarius this week and it's going to be there for a good six weeks and that is your romance zone and Sagittarius is one of your perfect matches so you really need to be out and about and if you're online dating you need to up your profile and if you're not online dating this is a good time to give it a go. Have a wonderful week Leos, great speaking to you and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.